You know what we got to talk about. Yes. Maybe. I mean, I'm just saying that's all the, the world is talking about. The Oscar ceremony aired last night. And of course, let's just say it was a night of the unexpected. Things were all good until uh, Chris Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith uh, starring in a sequel to G.I. Jane due to her bald haircut. And apparently Will Smith was not feeling it. Let's take a look. I'm going to. <sighs> he was for, people, for people who don't know, Jada has been open about her battle with alopecia. Some people know about it. Some people do not. Uh, well, out to be fair. And that's the reason why she's, you know, shared that she's decided to go bald. Ladies, what do y'all think about this? Come on, um, go for it. First. Uh, sin as though that I've worked for the dynamic duo and been a huge fan of both of them before I even started acting. And I am, you know, I would consider myself a, a colleague, a friend, a co-star, a, a, a employee and all of that of theirs. Um, here's what the thing is, really. It makes them human. It makes him human. You know what I mean? Everybody has a moment in time that they feel shocked, embarrassed by and they just get out of control. Lord knows I absolutely have. And we know that. And it's not until after you think about it and go, oh, my God. You know what I mean? He's sensitive about it. We know that. Here's the thing. They've been sharing more about their life than they ever have. They used to not hear anything about what was going on with them. And now they feel comfortable enough to do so, which makes them not exempt from people talking about them. They're not exempt. And because black man to black man, comedian to comedian, to me, comedians are the only people that can get away with the ta -da -da, with jokes. You know what I mean? And we know how it is. And you know that they, you, and especially Chris Rock, we know he's his comedic timing is very uh, political, you know, and he um, uses real life, you know, instance for that. I did not know that Jada shaved her hair for that. I thought her and her daughter had did something together or whatever um, in that in that vein. Um, but I don't think it was because of the halopecia. I think it was because of the look. We remember when Demi Moore cut her hair and that was sharp. When she cut her hair, we was like, yes, honey, you look great and you wear it well. So I feel that it was all in the way that you look at it. If you look at it negatively, then that's what happened. If you don't, you would have took the high road and said, you know what, she look good and I take that. And you would have took that that way. Everybody else would have, because you would have, you know, we would have had to follow suit with that. I know that that is not of Will's character. You know, um, I hate that he did that because now it will forever be stained with the fact that he won his Oscar finally. You know, and this is something that we know that he's been chasing for a long time um, after he even did Ali. And we know that now that he's going to, you know, they're going to remember that. And I know he, they don't like that. And even when he did his speech and he cried and I listened how he spoke about God and everything. And I was hoping that he would have mentioned Chris in that speech right then while all eyes were open and ears were listening. But he did not, you know, and maybe he needed to reflect on it even more so. I would have hoped that he would have apologized to Chris um, in that sense. Right. But he's human, you know, he's human and it happened. Virgo, Virgo, what do you think? I, I, I'm shocked. I was absolutely shocked and uh, saddened, to be very honest with you. There is, um, it was the wrong place, wrong time, and I, it, it just took the air out of the building. Um, the gentleman that won the award after him, uh, Quest Love, his moment totally went away because everybody, you could just see it in the audience immediately got on their phones like was that a stunt was mm -hmm. that real it quite literally took the air out of the building I thought it was completely disrespectful to the producer Will Packer who at this point had put on an absolutely amazing show the two hosts uh, that were African-American women were doing an amazing job Amy Sch Schumer uh, was doing a guy I get it that it's been tough for them in the public this is the consequences of opening up your your world to the public here comes the jokes. So, you know, being a person that's in the public eye and, and having to learn that lesson very hard, uh, that sometimes in life you learn to keep things private for a reason. And I think that this has been a, a, a lesson for them that opening up so much uh, has now, it came back and kind of, kind of bit them in a way. It, it bothered me because 
they were slanging jokes on everybody all night. Dame Judy Dan, uh, Judy Dench got told jokes. Uh, Penelope Cruz and her guy, they got they were throwing jokes. That that's part of the ceremony of, of the of the evening of the mm-hmm. program. That when you're there, somebody might throw a little snarky little joke at you. You have thick skin. You roll with it. But to get up walk across that Oscar stage and strike. It was black on black crime. And I was disappointed. I really was. Um, And I just think, I mean, we were all rooting for Will. I almost felt a Tyra Banks moment. We were all rooting for you. And um, it's still with me today. It really is. I I, I was disappointed. Uh, Selena, what are your thoughts? Um, I agree with both uh, Vivica and Lisa Ray. Um, I have... The same kind of sentiments as Vivica, like, man, it really hurt. It was disappointing. But I also uh, agree with Lisa Ray when she says, you know, people are human. And, you know, sometimes I, when I was, so I, when it happened, I couldn't believe it. First of all, I was like, this gotta be a joke. Cause they are both com- kind of com- comedians. You know, you would think they were close friends. You know, we love both Will Smith and Chris Rock. You know what I'm saying? Black people love both of them. So it was shocking to see them at odds, you know, this way. Um, but I remember an Oscar, you know, when when Chris Rock hosted Oscars before and he went in on Jada real bad when she was trying to say that the Oscars did not have enough black people. Um, if you go back and like, and I looked at the clip and like he was really going in saying, you know, talking crazy about her and that. And I wonder if Will didn't go up there and snap because of, of a buildup of some sort, you know, or, or some things that have been going on that maybe we're not privy to know. Either way, um, it was wrong to go up there and smack him like that. The thing that took me out the worst was the aftermath. Yes. The talking. Yeah. That took the wind out of me. The cussing like that from your seat, that was totally and completely like, you know, and I, I love, I love Will Smith, like, and I love Jada. And, and I just, I wonder if like, if Chris, you could have just said, cause I didn't really think the joke was that bad, even though, you know, mm-hmm. we have been dealing with hair issues as black women. I mean, we just passed a law in Congress to be, even be able to hair, wear natural hair in general to get a job, you know? So hair and black women and hair has been an issue. You know, he did a whole documentary called Black Hair. If he would have just said right after that joke, because I understand he has to do his job too and tell jokes. But if he would have said right after that, you know what though, uh, either way, Jada, you know, you know, knowing her condition, if he, not, if he didn't know or not, but either way, you look beautiful with no hair or not, because she looked so Stunning. She was so stunning at those awards. Lena, Maybe that he said was, I love you, Jada. He says, love you, Jada. He, he did. He say, did. No, he, yes. no, he said, he said, love you, Jada. And then he said the joke. And then he said, oh, come on, guys. That was a nice one. As right. if he could have went worse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so okay. he, he, didn't read, he didn't read the room. He didn't read the room. <laughs> when, when I, when I talked to, when I talked to different people, because I, I feel both sides of the story mostly black women which is really weird black women be like good he should have slapped him but then black men are like that was terrible he shouldn't have done that so it's very interesting the the two sides however my biggest takeaway from all of it was what he said Denzel told him at your highest moment the devil will come for you and that to me is exactly what happened that's exactly what happened we just saw the devil get busy you know, and took this man's whole energy of getting this Oscar away with that act of foolishness. That's I, what I got. At. I hate this happened. Me too. But if Chris Rock legitimately did not know that she had alopecia, that joke wasn't really nothing. It was not. It was nothing. And I feel like there's an over, I think this is a bigger issue about the last few years yeah. of Will and Jada putting their personal business out there and becoming the butt of a lot of jokes, which is self-imposed which is self-imposed. Now, if someone just started getting into their business and going in on them, that's one thing, but they're volunteering a lot of information to the point where we've even said, that's, come on, y'all. Do you like, mind? Too much. And, and he didn't go in on the entanglement. He didn't go in on infidelity. He said a G.I. Jane joke. I don't think it was that bad. So everyone's like, oh, he's protecting these black women. Really? Because if you want to get real and get funky with it, which I think we need to, if you really are talking about being just disres- pe- people being disrespectful, you would have went in on August Alcina. That's who needed his ass whooped. But we don't but know man, if he didn't. We don't know if he didn't. Well, go okay, well, the- well, you didn't publicly no, do we it. Don't know. But you did this at the Oscars where we've all seen this, okay? August Alcina made a song still talking about what he did with this man's wife, 
Okay. And there was no, like, that is some, that is some disrespect. What Chris Rock did. Yeah. People can, and, and, and here's my thing. People say they love both people. Not one person that we saw checked on Chris Rock and no one's thinking about how humiliated this man was in front of the world. So yeah, it was like, even if he knew about the alopecia, it was rude, right? At best. But Chris Rock was assaulted, humiliated, embarrassed on one of the biggest nights of his career. And no one's talking about that. If we're going to protect black men, protect both of them. But the one that got slapped should really be like, what, where is the helping hand? Where is the, the grace for him? He is I a comedian. Is, comedians, go, comedians go in and on these I things. Think, I and, think and, there is grace for him, but we also have to start asking. I, seen it. I, I think there's a teachable. It is. Y'all, you all just gave it to him. I think there's a teachable moment in this. Is it really okay? Like we sit here and we say, well, you know, it is what it is. But how many times have we been upset about people blowing up y'all pages, going off on y'all, calling y'all all kinds of names, uh, death threats, all kind of foolishness. At what point are we going to say, man, is it OK to di- you know, just because we're celebrities? Should we just disregard the fact that some people have feelings? Now, listen. I do not think that he should have walked up there and slapped him. I thought that was awful. I thought they were friends. It was, ghetto, it was, it was, it was, it was ignorant. It was crazy. It was, it was crazy. But if we want to really have, if we want to really be on something, let's really have conversations about all of it. Let's talk about both sides of it then. Let's don't be one-sided. Let's talk about everything. And we can actually, this would be an important moment that people can maybe say, wait, maybe I shouldn't say that. That might be kind of kind of bogus. And then maybe on the other side, Okay, well, I am an entertainer. Some stuff I could accept. Maybe both sides of the coin should. Maybe we need to have these conversations. You know, well, what I'm we are, well, we are. And here's the thing, Selena. We we all know a difference between someone really going in, and, and we can talk about the last five years of jokes. But we're talking about tonight. What happened last night was what happened last night, right? Uh, the joke that he made about GI Jane two was not evil. I didn't think it was evil at all. I didn't think it was evil. And it did not warrant. It came from somewhere else. It didn't didn't warrant a a slap. It didn't warrant a a, a slap. It didn't even warrant a curse out. It didn't. It warranted him. Will could have gone there and been like, we're going to speak after the show with some baby. That would have been enough. That would have been enough. But I will say this. Open open hand face slap to the face was a pump. That's like a bitch slap. You know, yeah, what is. Is. and I'll say this that Chris handled it very well because yes, I believe that my reaction would have been an action to that reaction. You know what now, I'm saying? He, it would have been, I, I, he would have been on the pop. He was right. graceful. He was graceful. Because let me tell you something could y'all have imagined if just an all out fight broke out that, that it's awful? It's natural reaction and they just start duking. Yes. On well, at the, uh, at another the, thing, at the Oscars, and and I would, I think that thing that hurt me more than anything else is that you could literally see the pain in Chris Rock's face. Yeah, I mean, he said, the, he said the he said the Chris Rock's face that he was like, I just got slapped the s h i t out of, mm-hmm. and but then he has to go and then present the award, and yeah. it, it was the award that he presented. Did did it go to Questlove? I think so. I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? And and, and Jada's face face was terrible too. Like when he said the joke, even Jada's, like it was just all a fool. Jada's face was looking bad. Will laughed at first. Will laughed at first. Yeah, Will laughed. Jada Jada did did not. She did not. So he probably looked at her afterwards and felt, and then look, listen, I'm not making any excuses, but let's have the conversations. Will, and now y'all tell me this because you all are actors. And I know this has happened a while ago, his acting, you know, he did this movie a while ago, but I read his book. And in the book, he talked about like how he was the coward. And in the beginning, he didn't protect people. And then, you know, he went through that thing with Vivian on um, Fresh Prince, how he didn't protect her. So maybe he thought, he must've thought in his, his brain, he must've snapped and had like a Kanye moment or something and felt like I need to protect Black women in, in, in this way. Now, I'm not saying you ain't got to come at me. I didn't slap them. No, 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 what no, I'm no. saying I, is, I, what if what if that was going on? Let's can we talk about the psychic, the psyche of what was actually going on in that moment? And then he even broke down in the speech right after. So like, what about what was going on? Like, I'm, I just I'm interested to see if it was some some backstory that was going on. Definitely. Definitely. Things were triggered, Selena. 
Absolutely. You, you, I Do you mean, think he was in but, character still, Vivica? Do you think he yes, might have well, been in character? He, he then, then, he, then he went to the character. Oh, I done turned into Crazy Richard, for real. It's art imitating life. We got to take a quick break. I think we need to finish this conversation. I think we need to still talk more about this because it's like this. This is a complex thing. And I, I don't want it to be misconstrued. I'm not not feeling for Jada. If he knew that she had alopecia and that was a mean spirit of joke, then he does. He does deserve to smoke. He does make it fun of a medical condition. But if he didn't, it was a G.I. Jane joke. It was an overreaction. That's all I'm going to say. But, I, 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 you I know, know G.I. Jane was funny, but I mean, it was. I mean, it was. I think he. I, a lot I think he was know. trying to be nice. So let's take a quick. Let's go into a quick break because we're over and we'll come back because we still have some more stuff to unpack. This is a complicated story and I think it deserves our time. All right. So we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back with right uh, ugh, with more after this.